Do you want to pass math exam with flying colors and get into your dream university? I will give you simple but effective approach that will help you quickly and effectively prepare for the exam without wasting money and time. If you want to get a complete course program with some bonus from me, then watch video till the end. Also, visit my website using, this, uh, using the link in the description. There you will find the full information about IB Mass course. And also, you could ask me any question and I will be glad to answer you. And now we start with to do some math and today we study trigonometric equations. So prepare to be attractive because I explain you how to understand it and you see that it's not a complicated topic. Then let's start to do trigonometric equation and see how it works. Okay, for example, if you have two sine squared x plus five sine x minus three equals to zero and then yeah we need to solve and four x from zero to two pi it's mean first of all what is important that you have domain for this equation yeah you see you have x from zero to two pi it's mean we need to get solution only on this interval yeah because in general if you have trigonometric equation that yet yeah, trigon any trigonometric function is periodic it's mean in general you have infinite number of solution it's mean when you have a domain then it could be few solutions but if you don't have a domain then you write it with a period yeah meaning that you have infinite number of solutions and here you see that we have a domain it's mean we only interested for all of solutions from 0 to 2 pi and also important that here both 0 and 2 pi includes to the interval that's why yeah also take this to account okay what to do you see that we have sine squared and we have sine x yeah it's mean now we need to use substitution because if we use substitution yeah then you see that we get just like good normal quadratic equation okay that's why if we have like substitute like sine x, for example, equals to a. Any letter okay, any letter you like, yeah, it's fine. Then you see that in this case, then sine squared x becomes just a squared. And now, yeah, you could rewrite equation using this. And then it becomes like 2a squared plus 5a minus 3 equals to zero and now you see that you have a quadratic one yeah at the moment it's not trigonometric it's just yeah like a quadratic one and what do you think about this method yeah how you use like similar approach before yeah please share your experience with me in the comments and we continue yeah it's mean first of all you see that it's 2a squared of course you could try to factorize but just from the Look, I not see like any good idea how to factorize it. It's mean we use quadratic formula. Yeah, just using a discriminant and quadratic formula for solutions. It's mean here we have a one and two. Yeah, two solutions is and by the way I write a formula. Yeah, do you remember or not? Yeah, like for quadratic equations we have a formula as x one two equals to minus b yeah and all of this notation for quadratic equation for standard one yes yeah, square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a yeah and now we see that we have quadratic for a it's mean our coefficient of a squared is 2 coefficient of a is 5 yeah and free term it's negative 3 it's mean it becomes minus b in this case it's minus 5 plus minus square root of b squared, b squared is just 5 squared, then minus 4 times coefficient a is 2. No, yeah, you see that a is not the best way here to choose substitution letter, but because it's the same in a quadratic, that's why if you want, for example, choose other letter, but of course, yeah, you need to be able to understand, yeah, that if it's your substitution or is it like from a formula of a quadratic equation, and then times by c, in this case, c is negative 3, 
and then divided by 2a. In this case, it's divided 2 by 2. And then we calculate, yeah, like what you have. Negative 5 plus minus, under the root you have uh, 5 squared is 25. Then minus 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then this negative 8 you times by negative 3. Negative times negative, what? Right, yeah. It always positive, it's mean plus. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, that's why yeah, I do not need to, to have such long root. And then divide it by 4. And then this is equal. And also, yeah, I just make here in the box that you see it's a formula. It's not related to, to a question. Then it's minus 5 plus minus. How much is 25 plus 24? Right, yeah, it's 49. And then over 4. And now, yeah, you see that we take square root of 49. It's a good. Yeah, it's 7. It means we have minus 5 plus minus 7 over 4. And, and it's equal to... Now, we have two different solutions. It means I write as this. Yeah, it's minus 5 plus 7. It's 2. It means 1. It's 2 over 4. And then minus 5 minus 7. It's minus 12. It means it's minus 12 over 4, and now we continue to simplify, because both these fractions you could simplify, yeah, then 2 over 4 is 1 half, minus 12 over 4 is negative 3, and now you see that we have two solutions for a, yeah, it's when we have a is equal to 1 half, and a is equal to negative 3, and you see at the moment we firstly get solution for quadratic equation. Also, yeah, if you want to know more about equations, how to solve equation, then please, yeah, like, see my other video on, on the channel, yeah, like, which about logarithmic equations. Yes, yeah, that's why I am sure you will like it. And now we continue to do trigonometric, yeah, because if you get a, then now we use the substitution that a is equal to sine x. I mean, now we're back to sine. It's when from one side we get that sine x is equal to one half. From other side we have sine x is equal to negative three. And now what you also need to know about sine that both, by the way, yes, yeah, sine and cosine, both of these functions cannot be higher than one and smaller than negative one. Yeah, it means always sine and cos for all of the angles always lies between negative 1 and 1. It means, you see, we have sine x is negative 3, this impossible value. It means here, just, you could write that this no solution, yeah, because you see that it's less than negative 1. And now, it means we have only one equation, sine x equals to 1 half, and we need to solve it. And remember about unit circle, if you don't know a unit circle, then not worry, yeah, like, if you buy a full course or you buy a topic of trigonometry, yeah, then I explain you in details, like, how to work with a unit circle, like, what you need to use, how everything works, how to understand, how to convert, like, radians to degrees, how to understand why sine is y coordinate, cos is x coordinate, yeah, because everything is logical in mass, and it's like if you understand that it's easy and clear to, to do. Okay, then what we have? It means first of all, I sketch unit circle, yeah, for this, and we need to find out where is sine equals to one half, yeah, and what we have. Sine is half, sine is a y-coordinate, right? And a y-coordinate on a unit circle, yeah? And again, yeah, please uh, go and see lesson of unit circle. It's mean we need to get y is equal to one half, y is a horizontal line, right? It's mean y is equal to one, one half. If you sketch it, then it's horizontal line through one half. And then you see this horizontal line, right, crosses unit circle in two points. It's mean for sine equals to one half, you have two different angles, like two different points on unit circle. Yeah, now we need to find out which point is what angle. It's mean, first of all, 
yeah, like for IB mass um, analysis and approaches, people one questions, it's no calculator. That's why you need to know like a, a sine and cosine of standard angles because tangent you could calculate, yeah, but sine and cosine, at least sine and cosine, you need to memorize. Yes, yeah, I mean for one half, uh, uh, sine of one half is for angle. For what angle, you know? Okay, right, it's for pi over six. It's mean first angle here and also you see that in the beginning here of the question, they give us x from 0 to 2 pi. It's mean if you have domain and radians and it's not saying how to present a solution, it's mean you have to present it in the same way as your domain. It's mean here in radians. That's why I write on a unit circle angle as a pi over 6, yeah, because pi over 6 or 30 degrees has a sign equals to 1 half. And now we need to calculate a second point, yeah? How to calculate a second point? Because it's like symmetrical, yeah? You need circle, a circle with radius 1. It means if you have this angle, yeah, as pi over 6, then a straight angle is pi or 180 degrees. Yeah, it means to calculate this, this point, you just need to do pi minus the same part. It means minus pi over 6. And how to calculate this? Yeah, this you need to know fractions. Yeah, also like fractions you have on my channel. And now we subtract pi 6 pi over 6 minus pi over 6. It means you have 6 pi minus pi over 6. And in this case, 6 pi minus pi is 5 pi. It's 5 pi over 6. It means second point. Yeah, like this symmetrical in second quadrant also. You need to know like about quadrant. It's also from unit circle. Yeah, you have first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. It means here we get x equals first solution to pi over 6. And second solution it's 5 pi over 6. It means you see that on this circle, because we have domain from 0 to 2 pi, it means you have only two solutions. For example, if you have bigger domain, then you need to see how many solutions here, yeah, because also when it's like move one circle, it's back to the original position, but then start to move again and again. It's mean depending on the domain, you could get like a different number of solutions. Yeah, it's mean final answer. Remember to write here yeah, always for all equations and for all questions, you need to present answer. And here I specify that we have x1 is equal to pi over 6. Yeah, and we have x2 is equal to 5 pi over 6. Yeah, it's mean you see that what? Originally, we have trigonometric equation, yeah, but also then you see that you cannot do trigonometric equation if you don't know quadratic equation. It's mean you need to, uh, you need to have like solid background in algebra. Yeah, it's mean in mass, all of topics, they relate to each other, yeah, and it's usually like all questions are complex and combine you few topics. It's meant please, yeah, like visit my website. And as I promised, yeah, like in the beginning of the video, I give you a bonus. Yeah, like get a promo code for 15% discount yeah, using the secret word YouTube. Yeah, that's why I visit the website and you get like full information about the course and then leave order for the IB mass course and use this like secret word and you get 15% discount. Also, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then be sure to subscribe because you need to become a part of our big tutor in a family. Yeah, and you see like new videos every week. And also write in the comments like whatever you're interested in such content or not and also like what topics for new video is good for you. And of course, don't forget to like it if you haven't put it yet. And on this, I say you goodbye. Tutorina was with you and see you in the next video and join our big family. Bye!